Psycho-Cybernetics, written by Maxwell Maltz. Preface, the secret to using this book to change your life. General Principles. The self-image is the key to human personality and human behavior. Change the self-image and you change the personality and the behavior. But more on this. The self-image sets the boundaries of individual accomplishment. It defines what you can and cannot do. Expand the self-image and you expand the area of the possible. The development of an adequate, realistic self-image will seem to imbue the individual with new capabilities, new talents, and literally turn failure into success. Self-image psychology has not only been proved on its own merits, but it explains many phenomena which has long been known but not properly understood in the past. For example, there is today's Today, irrefutable, irrefutable clinical evidence in the fields of individual psychology, psychosomatic medicine, and industrial psychology that there are success type personalities and failure type personalities, happiness prone personalities, and un unhappiness prone personalities, and health prone personalities, and disease prone personalities. Self image psychology throws new light on these and many other observable facts of life. It throws new light on the power of positive thinking, and more importantly, explains why it works with some individuals and not with others. Positive thinking does indeed work when it is consistent with the individual's self-image. It literally cannot work when it is inconsistent with the self-image, until the self-image itself has been changed. In order to understand self-image psychology and use it in your life, you need to know something of the mechanism it employs to accomplish its goal. There is an abundance of scientific evidence which shows that the human brain and nervous system operate purposefully in accordance with the known principles of, cy of cybernetics to accomplish goals of the individual. So far as, as function is concerned, the brain and nervous system constitute a marvelous and complex goal-striving mechanism, a sort of built-in autom automatic guidance system which works for you as a super, as a success mechanism or against you as a failure mechanism, depending on how you, the operator, operate it and the goals you set for it. It is also rather ironic that cybernetics, which began as a study of machines and mechanical principles, goes far to restore the dignity of man as a unique creative being. Psychology, which began with the study of man's psyche or soul, almost ended by depriving man of his soul. The behaviors who understood neither the man nor, nor the, his machine and thereby confused the one with the other told us that thought is merely the movement of electrons and consciousness, merely a, a chemical reaction. Will and purpose were myths. Cybernetics, which began with the study of physical machines, makes no such mistake. The science of cybernetics does not tell us that man is a machine, but that man has and uses a machine. Moreover, it tells us how the machine functions and how it can be used.